This is a king size mattress. This is everything. You don't actually have to get a new bumper to actually do a swing out tire carry. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we are over at the Outside Adventure Expo. Taking a look around, seeing what cool gear we can find. Storyteller, this is our future van. This is probably one of our favorite van configurations we've that I've seen online. It's a lot smaller than I thought. Can we jump in here? Can we jump in here? This is so freaking cool. So this like turns into a this turns into a desk here, shower, toilet, all the seats swivel around, big countertop, fan. This is the uh, essentially the same van as the Rebel but way better. About 12 to 18 months out. So if you order one today, it'll take about a year and a half to get it. But those vans I think are well worth the wait. If I had to pick any van, that'd definitely be one of them. This is cool, a lot different from the one I got because you can actually disconnect it on the back so you can hang it and use it while the tailgate's down versus ours right now, it's stuck up like this. So that's a really good idea. Overland gear guide. Yes, sir. So this is all overland gear guide stuff. I like the pouches on the side and oh that's cool this would be nice on our truck be able to like store other things like that on the side we do a lot of storage up at the top with molly and that's cool this whole back seat storage organization panel So you got that grill riding with you all the time then? Yep. That's awesome. Yeah, Holy car. crap, that's cool. Yeah, everything breaks down. Yeah. I've been all over with it. You know? Awesome. Yeah. Are you able to use your tailgate still or? Oh yeah. It's kinda, yeah, okay. no, it all swings out of the way if I need to get in there. Just depends on what I need. I got tools in the bed of my Tacoma. That's a really good idea. So we're with uh, Hinkley Overlanding. You guys are out of Salt Lake? Yeah, we're out of Salt Lake. So this is a new tent that just came out from Bushville. This is a king size mattress in here, which I've not seen with a rooftop Bushville tent before. Bushville is the model. The okay. The manufacturer is Overland Vehicle Systems. Overland Vehicle Systems, okay. Look how big this freaking tent is though. This entryway is huge. This guy is 175 pounds though for a king size bed. And it's a hard shell. Awesome. Take down time, we could probably close this up in about two minutes. Wow. So they also sell this 270. This is a huge awning for about $8.99 or so. I think I'm gonna look into something like that. That's something I want to add to the frontier. I like it. Yeah? Is it nice? Stand up straight. Yeah. Oh, you can also cook in here. See this is a very different travel trailer tent than I've ever seen. But look at this, like with the awning, you can close all these sides. Oh, and there is a fridge in here. That's cool. Okay, this is called a Sniper X by RV.com. OffRoadRV.com. But you can actually enclose all this and then, you know, someone can actually sleep out here in like the tent formation. If we had to get a trailer, like this makes sense. I like it. Because then you can actually open this up even though it's still connected to your truck on the front. Oh, it's got a full kitchen here too, so. That's cool. That's pretty cool. That's like, that would be a trailer I could get down with. Yeah, and it comes with a 270 awning as well. Wow, this is definitely unique. How's it going? Oh, we got a shower system on the side. How much does this thing go for? 35.5. 35.5? That's not bad. I've never seen a rooftop tent on a little quad. Oh yeah, that's nice. Dirt box gear. This portable outdoor kitchen. Oh, that's cool. It's got the grill and everything. Everything you need. Look at this one. This one's uh, got, got a bar up, in, up top. Some water. So you can actually, looks like you can customize this depending on what you need. This would be perfect for like, if you were like just doing hot dogs on the side of the road, you know? <laughs> this is what it looks like when it's folded down. Oh, that's cool. It's like a, this is everything. All right, this is a trailer I've never seen before. Got a rooftop tent. 
you got they pop up at the top so you can actually stand up inside wow this is cool the whole back door opens up got a dinette another couch over there the roof pops up so you can actually stand up fully in here there's an ac unit full kitchen it's nice leather mantis tax outdoors got a shower on the side got the ac unit it's pretty that's i can't believe it has an ac unit but yeah overland edition mantis i've never seen a trailer like this this reminds me of the pop-ups would like for for the vans like the westphalia is exactly it's got the full of the medic over here sunscreen that's cool lots of windows too this thing's about it looks like about 18 20 feet long but this is the smaller version full kitchen it looks like you might be able to stand in here too maybe oh no it's just a dinette area and then it converts into a bed some tire storage full kitchen that slides out cool by harker's outdoors some seating on the side full kitchen on the side this oh my gosh this one has an oven <laughs> that's cool feel free to hop in there guys all right you paid for your ticket you gotta get some money <laughs> oh that's cool and then the uh, bed yeah the bed's like down. right here just pulls down yeah, yeah exactly. just like an alu cab right very similar yeah uh one major difference is we've remo we've removed the rear crossbar here so you don't have to crawl or do the trap door thing oh then, okay yeah yeah and then we also uh enclose the tailgate with our annex here yeah that's cool that gives you a little bit more space too more versus space like right. stopping right here yeah definitely so that's did, awesome yeah for dressing or changing and you can you've got all that room here you can put the bed down so. yeah all this all this cabinet room there's a lot of upgraded stuff here but this is a but this is a pastor pantry Ooh. Uh, to the outside so oh load, that's cool so you can load your groceries from yeah. the outside or you can without load, having to open it up and yeah. get inside of it or if you're, oh, just, if that's you're smart. making uh, you know pb and j's for launch yeah yeah pull the food out from the side there build out is nineteen thousand. okay including like color match paint yeah the fridge, the fridge and yeah the, the whole big solar kit okay the electrical panel everything so that's cool though yeah uh, stops all along the way there, so. can you uh, mount stuff on the roof too totally can, yeah. okay yeah. kayaks and stuff yeah if you walk around front here you can see we've got tie down points and, and crossbar anchor yeah points, so you can uh you can do brackets oh, and, and you got some forms. solars up there too. Uh, okay. Any sort of rack that would go on any normal uh, roof would work. So. Oh, this is cool. This is unique with this table. So this actually, this is the back of the back of the truck. It doubles as a table, and then you can actually load your groceries through here, so you don't actually have to open this whole thing up to load it up. So that is super smart and really awesome. I like that big door up front, so it really lets lets you utilize more of the tailgate for sure for some living area. Awesome. Austrail. It's like a little swag tent. But a little bit bigger, I think. Cot tent combo. Something we've been thinking about adding to our setup. This external shower slash bathroom thing that you can add. All it is, it folds back up inside of this guy right here. And you can have your shower system right next to it. This one. Okay, good. It's not just me. It's not just me. You guys look for it. Yeah, that's cool. Check that out. It's a little storage thing for your, for camp. That's what I want for like the kitchen, so I can like hang spatulas or like forks and all that other crap up here. Oh yeah. Twenty three zero. Little cardboard portable toilet. All right, guys. It's hot. It's actually not that hot. It's like 80 degrees. We're sweating. <laughs> Starting our day off with a beer. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. Don't judge. So to get into the expo, I don't think I've mentioned this yet. It is a $15 entry fee. And then there is a $10 parking fee right outside the fairgrounds. But this was well worth it. We're seeing a lot of cool stuff. I'm going to be highlighting a lot of the cool stuff that we're seeing. Anything that I haven't seen yet. And I'll give you guys some ideas for your, for your camp setups. Check out this little swing out, swing out cabinet, guys. So everything fits inside of here, but this actually opens up, turns into a table, and you can actually store stuff inside. This is by, uh, or Equip. I think this is with Equip. <laughs> Here's the four-wheel campers. This would be 
our exact setup if we ended up, if we had a full size bed. Ooh. Yes. All right, bed. Let's get up in here. What's nice about these setups is that it keeps it flush with the truck, so it doesn't make you too top heavy, which is nice. It has a full sink, stove, a mirror. So what we're looking at was just the Hawk model. This is another Hawk model right here. But essentially all of the panels pop up on the top, but when you close it all down, it really is flush down here. So it keeps your truck really low, like your, your truck's center of gravity pretty low. It's another version. This is the flatbed version. This one's way bigger because this is the flatbed version. So it's a lot wider in here. Super nice, but this, the bed actually, to make it longer, you can actually put pull the bed out and it comes up all the way over here. I think you can pull it out. Yeah, so you can pull out the bed to make the bed a lot larger, but, oh, and this whole thing has storage underneath. Full kitchen, fridge. So you got three different options if you want to let air in or not. And you can put them, up, put them all up like that. This camper, as it is, just the camper, is about fifty-four thousand. Fifty-four, okay. But this is like fully kitted out. So yeah, it yeah. All the options. This is cool. This one's definitely the most, the roomier version of all of them. And she was saying that this is an eight-foot bed. The camper itself really only needs a six, and so they actually created some storage back here, and that's where you can also store your spare tire. But this thing is massive. So this one is definitely roomier than the first one that we walked into. You actually have the bed that's in the way of a lot more of your space versus this one. It just makes it so much wider in there, which is really cool. Oh man, look at this trip. look at this rig. more tails. Swing out tire carrier. Oh, that's cool. It's kind of like the uh, four wheel camper. This one's interesting. This actually doesn't take up the full bed on the side, so it's not as wide. But look at look at some of like the storage here and stuff. No, this is cool. Where'd you get where'd you, where'd you get the scout? Well, where in the world is it from? Washington. Washington. Okay. Yeah, Yakima, Washington. Okay. How do you get up to the rooftop tent? There's a hole inside. Oh, there is. Okay. There's a ladder you can get on the outside. Oh, there's the hole that you can get yeah. into the rooftop yeah. tent. Okay. Do you, do you do you feel like top heavy in this thing at all? Like okay. I was. Is this pretty I, tall? Like up. Yeah, we lost yeah. It, but I thought it was going to be a lot worse. Yeah, because it's pretty, that's pretty thick up top yeah. on the cab. Um, but it's only 1,600 pounds. Oh, that's not bad, yeah. This is their swag tent. This is exactly what Tim has. This is the Australian version, though. So this is how big it is when it folds up. But this includes, like, your sleeping bag or your mat. I don't know if, it, I don't think it includes a sleeping bag. This just, like, literally rolls up. And then you just put the tent poles in and we've heard really good things about this type of setup Even when it's like super windy and stuff. It does really well with the wind because it's so low to the ground But I think these are on sale. I think for about 350 or 400 bucks on the website Let's pop up tents. This actually pops up You guys want to go up inside you guys can oh cool. Thanks All right, so we're at mountain hatch right now. It's the guys that make uh, those flat tailgates which I will eventually be getting one for the Frontier here soon. Here's our future setup with GFC. Uh, Nissan Frontier. It's the next one like in line. You guys haven't okay. made it yet. So no, I'm Caden. Okay, Caden. Okay. Yeah. Have, I've talked to a couple of Frontier customers. So we are, we're trying to work. You have the five foot bed? Yep. Yep. Got the five foot bed. Yeah, we're trying. We're, our engineers are working on that right now, sir. All right, guys. So how long have you all been down in the lower 48? So we got some side panels right here. All of these panels all move out so you can actually utilize the entire bed and you can actually sit in here and close it up if the weather's ever crappy. But their systems also have come with the side windows here and then they have the mesh. And you can actually mount stuff on the roof as well. You can actually mount a bike up there too. All right guys, so we're at the deck system now. This is essentially built-in drawers for your truck bed. 
Just store some stuff in here. Oh, oh, that's a nice slide. That's cool. And this is available for the Nissan Frontier too, which is nice. But the problem I have with it is, you know, it kind of takes up your room inside the inside the bed. But this is super convenient because you can lock it all up. Toolboxes and stuff. Get your rooftop tent up there. You know, or if it was on tracks, it would pretty sturdy. That's okay. what we wanted, so we made our own. Oh, uh, nice. Slide out cutting board. The back's aluminum to save weight, but then the important parts that hold all the weight, like the hinge and the, and the actual table, are made out of steel. Awesome. So you don't actually have to get a new bumper to actually do a swing out tire carry. You can actually just plug this right into your hitch. And you can still use your hitch. We got some roto packs on here too at the same time. So yeah, so this is this isn't out yet. Um, this is like our final prototype. Oh, okay, yeah. We'll call it the side hack. Yeah. Um, previously, you'd have to pick between the table or the fuel because yeah. they're not in the same spot. So right, um, right. People asked and we answered, so we came out with this. This Molly panel is just for catch all for whatever yeah, sort of yeah. bags or first aid kit. Rigged, rigged ultra, ultra swing. Definitely gonna be getting me one of these eventually. <laughs> On sale for 140,000, guys. It is like a mini tank. Holy cow! This is a turbocharged diesel. A few weeks. This is what David needs. It's like a passenger. Oh, this is a passenger rig. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, well, I thought this was a camper, but it's actually a bus. This is one of those Earthland Earth Earth Rovers. 325,000, guys. Comment down below if you'd buy this. This is literally, you can go anywhere. Let's check this out, guys. Look at all this storage. You got double fridges in here. Oh my gosh, this is luxury. It's one of those memory foam mattresses. You got four seats here. These actually are seat belted, so that means people can sit here while you're driving. There is a full bathroom. Full bathroom, full shower. This is cool. So we're getting this? 325,000? <laughs> this can go anywhere, literally anywhere in the world. <laughs> What's this thing called? BAE. BAE? BAE Titan is the cabin chassis. Okay. Adrenaline Industries. BAE. Uh, the name of the whole build. Okay, okay, That's Adrenaline it. Industries. All right. Awesome. Adventure Van Rental. So if you guys ever want to check out a Sprinter, see how, it, how they are, you can actually rent them out. Oh, adventure van, Warner van rental. Nice. All right, guys, so we just left the expo. We're at a place called the Bohemian Brewery. So this is where we leave off the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys found some pretty cool ideas for your next rig. I definitely got some ideas. I'll list websites for each of the companies that were featured down below. So if you guys are interested, you can you guys can check out their gear and their contact information below. If you guys are new here, my name is Caden. I do a new video every week on pretty much anything outdoors, camping, hiking, fishing, adventure videos like this one. So definitely check out the channel if you guys are into that. Like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks.